Hello everyone. In the next three uh, training videos, I'll be teaching you how to build and uh, simulate this gym model using atoms. And in the meantime, you will be learning how to create the geometries using the bodies tab and how to create the joints using the connectors tab. And also you will be learning how to use motions tabs to apply the motion and also you will learn how to create a contact between different parts uh, using the force tab and at the end you will learn how to run the simulation and how to view the results and in this first video I'll be teaching you how to create um, those different parts uh, using atoms now as is listed in the bodies tab you can see we have the uh, right leg um, the left leg the body and the upper body Okay, now first we are going to um, build the upper body. Okay, first uh, let's create the arm using the cylinders. And then we will create new part. We can specify the radius to be uh, 2 centimeters. And then we will add part to the existing part. We will rename this part as upper body. Okay. So next we will um, add a part to the existing upper body using the same radius. First uh, we select the body and then we set, pick an end okay. the next we will use a sphere to represent the the fist or the hand part still we are going to add part to the existing part using the radius of about four centimeters okay then we choose the existing upper body yeah, click that so now the arm and hand is finished then let's create the ring and the string um, using the ring icon and ring function we can still add a part to the existing one and uh, the minor radius we will choose um, one centimeter and the major radius we will, spe we will specify that to be eight centimeters first we will select the existing part and then we just add it to it and that's how the ring is created okay next we will use a very thin cylinder to represent a string we can specify the radius to be 0.4 centimeters and we will add to the existing upper body okay that's how we created half of the the upper body and then we will use uh, the rotation to copy and paste the other half of the upper body now we will use rotate objects So we will check copy and first we will select this upper body and then we will specify a direction and also the angle will be 180 degrees. We will select uh, the y direction in the coordinates and that's how we created the other half of the upper body. Okay, then we need to merge these two bodies into just one. So we click here in the boolean, we merge, and we select the first body and select the second half of the upper body. So those are merged together into a single body. As you can see, there are no entities in this upper body. Okay, and that's how you created the upper body part. 
and we will rename it as upper body. Okay. Okay. Then let's create the body part, which basically includes uh, two sphere and uh, two cylinders. Okay. First, uh, let's create and uh, the first the cylinder to represent the neck. Okay, we'll create a new part and uh, let's set the radius to be one centimeters. And then let's um, add another cylinder to this part. Uh, let's first rename it to define it as the body. Okay, now let's add a cylinder to the neck. And we can specify the radius to be uh, four centimeters. Let's change the appearance of the body part to be green. Then let's add a sphere that represents the head. Here the radius can be about eight, about six centimeters. We add to the body. Okay. Then we add a bottom area. Okay, let's define 10 centimeters radius. Okay, then the body part is created. Okay, then let's create the uh, two leg parts. So basically we're using the cylinder to represent that geometry and we are specifying the radius to be two centimeters this is the left leg and we can rename it as the uh, left leg okay. but we need to move that lower a little bit in order not to interfere with the, the other leg at the joint. So we can use the reposition. We can use the translate distance by five centimeters uh, downwards and five centimeters to the left. Okay. Then we will create the right leg using the same method. Position that. Then let's change the appearance of this right leg. Change the color to orange. Okay, and we rename that as the right leg. And that's how all the geometries are created. And here are a few tips of how to use the hotkeys to maneuver the views in a graphical window. First is that if you want to uh, switch to the front view, you can just click Shift plus F. And then it automatic, automatically goes to the front view. And also if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can just click Z and then drag your mouse up and down so you can zoom in or zoom out and if you want to search uh, you want, if you want to zoom in a certain area you can click W and then you can just make a selection and if you want to go back to the original view you can just click F and that's how you maneuver those views using the hotkeys Okay, that's the end of this video. And in the next video, I'll be teaching you how to apply the joints using the connectors tab and how to apply the motions in the motions tab. 
And also I'll briefly show you how to run a simulation and view the results in Atoms.